Uh, so this next fly I'm going to tie for you is uh, a natural series home invader and uh, one of my uh, streamer patterns. Um, and how this ties into upland bird hunting is this particular recipe. I tie this fly in a ton of different colors, but one of I have a series of them that uses uh, ringneck pheasant marabou, which is right uh, just right behind the legs on a uh, on a rooster skin. And there are a few on a good bird. Um, there's maybe a dozen on each side. Just they look like regular turkey marabou plumes, but they're much finer. Um, and a lot of times they, they often have some kind of reddish brown or tan colored tips on them. So they're really cool feathers. Um, and you got to kind of search for them. They're, they're, uh, they're, they're well worth uh, looking for. Um, but the first thing I do is put a little drop of Zappa Gap um, on the shank of the hook and then take some lead wire and just do a little underbody underneath where we're going to put some dumbbell eyes. Attach my thread right in the middle of that. I'm going to put those dumbbell eyes on. A couple of figure eights. A little bit more zappa gap. And a few more wraps. Alright, so once we get those on, it's time for our pheasant marabou. And I'd like to, uh, to just clump maybe two of them together and maybe about uh, two, two and a half shank lengths on that marabou. You want to tie them in right behind the lead eyes. Next thing, tie in some Australian possum, just a, a little zonker strip cut of it. And then maybe two wraps of it behind the eyes, one wrap right over top of the eyes, and then one complete wrap right up to the eye of the hook. Take some uh, some flashaboo, and tie that in right over the back. You know, maybe ten strands or something. This is bronze, really good color for this fly. Next thing I take a couple of rooster hackles. And do two purple grizzly and two furnace. And uh, I do something cool with this. Um, gonna put the purple grizzly feather underneath the furnace. And you want the <clears throat> tip of the feather to end up back where the marabou is. So just a quick measurement. All right. Trim both of them at once just to the right size. And then these get tied in um, almost on the sides of the hook. so they're kind of flat against the body. And do the same thing to the other side. And you kind of get that purple kind of playing through that brown. So um, just 
just a little subtle flash of color in there. One of my uh, favorite fall flies is this guy right here. And then definitely some zap a gap on the head. And you got uh, a natural uh, purple grizzly home invader that will uh, surely get some angry fish come fall.